a barbecue wound up in the canal. Harry Miller has been clearing debris from his home since the hurricane happened. Yes, and like this pole over here that you see, you know, that was, we pulled that out, and there's another pole over there that we pulled out. The canal behind his home saw some damage, but it's looking a lot better thanks to his neighbors. I think a lot of that is being done by the people themselves. You know, uh, most people are pretty responsible here. Although some canals are in better shape, others are in need of help. Filled with trash and debris, the city has received approval from the state to begin debris cleanup in canals. And there is a plan in place for how they will go about it. According to the city, they will first clear debris that is accessible by land, such as downed trees and items on the shoreline that can be accessed easily. The next step will then be to remove debris from the water using barges. I think that's a good idea, but I think they should concentrate more on the debris on the roads first. Uh, you know, just to me that's more practical. So far, the city says they picked up enough debris to cover 161 football fields. And with this cleanup effort, starting Monday, it's only expected to get bigger. In Cape Coral, Alexandra Rangel, Fox 4.